after dealing with these people, you come to a really big realization. The, the biggest fact of them all is that these people can't handle the truth. That person cannot handle the truth. The truth really, really is a problem. The truth is really hard for them to accept. You've seen it. If they're not running from the truth, they're denying it and creating a whole nother version of the truth, what they're calling their truth, their delusion of the truth, changing up the story, switching up the story, finding what they want to put in the story and taking out what they want to take out. Selective memory. Selective amnesia. They, they acting like they don't remember they said what they said. They're acting like they don't remember that it went down the way it went down. They exhaust you with all this gaslighting, hoping that you will doubt your own reality until you stop doubting your own reality. The real reality is narcissists are offended by people of strength. They're offended by people with strength. They are offended by you. You will always destroy them without even trying because you are strong. <laughs> Special hello to you if you're new to this channel. Welcome to my channel, guys. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Humbly sitting here before you to talk to you about the narcissist and your strength. Your strength crushes what they are, who they are. It brings their game to a halt. It pumps a break because what it does is it fractures their ego. It breaks it. It destroys the smoke and mirrors because that's all it is. This entire thing is fake anyway. This person is dressing up who they are because who they really are. There's so much brokenness. There's so much illness. There's so much sickness. There's so much unforgiveness. There's so much issues that have been unresolved. That's why they can't take accountability. They're used to you know, shoving everything under a rug, not talking about it, not addressing it and not facing it. The truth hurts. You hurt the narcissist. You hurt them by being a real human being. You do not settle. The narcissist wants you to take them as they are. Take them as they are. Like when you buy a used car, it might say in the paperwork, you're taking it home as is. You're buying it as is. They expect you to deal with them no matter what type of dirt and issues they're bringing to the table. Because their dirt and their issues are deeply linked to insecurities. Narcissists want normal human beings to question themselves for questioning the narcissist you're supposed to be wrong you're mean you're wrong you're fake you're unreliable they can't trust you because you notice things or you'll point things out or you want to you want to talk about things or you want to expose things that are the truth that's a major no for a narc you're too strong for the narcissist because you cannot settle. You refuse to settle. The narcissist came in with things that you do not and are not obligated to put up with. A narcissist is somewhere calling you a narcissist because you have made it be known that, hey, actually, you know what? I realize that I'm settling for you. They want you to believe that if you consider yourself an empathetic person, it means that you don't know how to speak up. You don't know how to set boundaries. You don't know how to say no. You don't know how to not feel obligated to settle for someone or something because nobody else wants them. Because most of the time, 
in those love relationships, when the narcissist was love bombing you, they were running from a prior situationship. They were coming out of some type of narcissistic collapse that included an ex who probably tried to address things with them that they did not want to face. The, the same issues you're having with that narcissist, their ex had the same problems. But this person couldn't handle the truth. That's why they ended up running to you and love bombing you and trying to get you into their world. This is the same cycle they're going through with this new supply situation. This person is so offended by your feedback. By you saying no. By you seeing your own worth and value. By you recognizing that you're settling for this broke joke. You're always paying for stuff. The truth is they really don't have any money, even though the world and their friends and, and the Internet believes that they're wealthy. But you were with them. You've seen that they really don't even have anything. And so because you start to make moves and you switch up. You become a problem. Now, let's find reasons to make you maybe the narcissist because you won't put up with their shortcomings. You were supposed to be asleep to the fact that this person doesn't contrib contribute to anything. This person has never pursued any high levels of education. Just because you considered it at some point doesn't mean that you had to put up with it. And at, at some point in those narcissistic relationships, you start to see how you got bamboozled. You wanted to give them the benefit of a doubt and you wanted to overlook some of the things that they didn't have. But you realize, wait, no, wait, wait, no. Because you lack education, you're very ignorant. Because you lack education, we can't communicate. There's things that you just aren't getting. I can't, I can't get far with you. You're very slow. In the, in the mind of the narcissist, you're wrong for coming to that conclusion. You're wrong for figuring them out. You're wrong for realizing that actually this person is not someone that you can work with because they don't know how to match you at your level or match your energy because they don't want to elevate. They don't want to grow. They want to argue. They want to they wanna twist everything on you instead of looking inside themselves and fixing the, the root of their issue. It's rather... Why are you talking about the issue? Why are you bringing it up? Why are we still talking about the issue? You're too strong for a narcissist. You know your worth. You know your value. You might have accidentally, mistakenly, foolishly tripped and fell into this narcissistic cobweb, but you are not that broken person. That they were really hoping for you to be. And some of you watching this, you were raised by narcissists. Thank God you're not a narcissist yourself. But because of the abuse, verbally being talked to like a, an animal, being locked in homes like animals, being treated like you don't exist. Being forced to work for your own stuff because you had neglectful parents. You are strong. You don't mind working. You don't mind learning how to make things work like working and then coming home and working some more at home. Whether it be taking care of kids, taking care of the house, taking care of the man or the woman. You have so much strength. And when you're that type of a person with strength. With endurance, you expect that from your partner. You expect to see a certain type of behavior or certain level of character when you are dealing with your own people, people who are supposed to love and care about you. Your strength wakes you up to look at them crazy at some point because they are crazy. Crazy enough to make you feel crazy for recognizing they're crazy. A narcissist will be offended. 
by you speaking up, by you not wanting to be with them anymore because you realize they, they're, they're not on your level. They're not going where you're headed in life. Completely offended by you cutting them off. You're wrong because you chose to disconnect from your narcissistic, toxic family. So you're being talked about. This is all a result of you being too strong. Your strength weakens the narcissist. It, it makes them shrivel. The ego is already fragile. And then here you are. You're assertive. You're smart. You're confident. You're really confident. So you see things different. Your vision is really clear. And you are a leader. Naturally, you can't even help it. So you, you pay attention and you observe things differently. You're a deep thinker. You're insightful. You're intuitive. So you see things differently. And this narc wanted to be in your life, not realizing that you are strong. That means they can't hang on to you very long. They couldn't. That means eventually you were going to actually analyze them only for them to call it criticizing there are narcs watching videos like this looking for reasons to validate how how narcissistically injured they really are because they're convincing themselves that they are a problem they were criticized by their victim because the victim finally woke up and let that narcissist know about themselves told them actually you know what you're not as you're not as cute as you think you are actually you know what you're you you, you, you're not that good in bed as you thought you were. Actually, you know what? It's not all that. You actually don't have any game. You're actually a noticeable fool. This person finally woke up and is checking you, is making new moves, is, is, is looking out for themselves. And now they're a problem. And you're sitting here watching this kind of content, pointing fingers, validating your, your narcissistic broken feelings. To my thrivers out there watching this, please know that because of your strength, it's weakened them. They're sitting here trying to validate their victimhood because you were never supposed to leave. You were never supposed to figure them out and you did and you left them. And now they are crying, talking about they got discarded. You didn't get discarded. You got cut off. This person didn't cheat on you and find a new supply. They walked away and left you where you need to be. They left you in the hell where you came from. These people are crying victim. When they've been doing the victimizing, there's a lot of them in the crowd out there looking for validation. Trying to fit in with the true empaths. But the thing about empaths is we're strong people. When we come around, we expose weaknesses. Some of us are so intelligent, so outspoken and outgoing, we can't help it. That's part of our gift and our light. Some of us, we're, we're so gifted, we know stuff, we feel stuff, and we'll speak on it. We'll say it, we'll expose it, we'll address it. And narcissists cannot take that, they cannot stand that. Some of you have so much godly strength that it completely... It, it completely destroys this narcissist. It throws them off. They hate you so much every time you're in the room because they're demons. Their demons get so irritated when you are there. Your presence throws everything off because it's coming against the negativity. Your light is, is trying to empower the darkness and they can't have that. They don't want that. They're not used to that. You're too strong for a narcissist. They find offense in you telling the truth or setting boundaries because they're weak. Their egos are weak. It's the broken ego that has them walking around this earth, going from relationship to relationship, trying to get people to attempt to fix them. That's why they come in the door with sad stories. Because they're hoping that 
you will listen to all this crap they have to say about their exes and the people before you and their mom and their dad and they have all this stuff to say about their family and how narcissistic their family is. I know you've heard it before. No, at the end of the day, narcissism is trying to make people believe that normal human beings should look at themselves crazy for being normal, for being observant, for being for being loud, maybe, honest and truthful, being the one to speak up, being the one bold enough to cut someone off or walk away. They want us to believe that, <laughs> they want us to believe that we have a defect of some sort when that's not true. We're people of strength. We're real and we expect real back. So when, when real starts to become obviously fake, we'll question it. And they will feel threatened. They know they're losing power when we start popping off. When we start moving with confidence. Your meticulosity, your ability to socialize, your, your ability to be independent. Those are things that are linked to your personality. Your personality is, is not your character. Of course, your, your character, your personality, and your temperament, it makes you who you are. This is what your uniqueness is centered around. This is, this is what makes you so special. The way you handle things, the way you react to things, the way you fight back or maybe not fight back, your personality is not what your character is. And I believe that narcissistic abuse, part of the poisoning is, is to try to make you kind of feel like all of that is one or to judge you for having a difference in those things and having a certain uniqueness about you because you can have strength in your personality as well as strength in your character. And when I refer to a thriver, a strong one, strong people like you, I'm talking about people who are strong in all those areas or strong in one of those areas. You're still a strong person. As long as you have that, that healthy character, as long as you are a healthy human being and you possess a personable personality, you're liked, not because you're fake, but because you're genuine, you're a giver, which is, which is part of your character. The way you give, the way you, you show empathy and care for other people, the way, the way you look out for other people, your selflessness, right? Your ability to be vulnerable, to help and actually not expect any gains or have ill intent towards people. When you are the one that has the character of I'm not taking crap. I am going to be the one to beat you up if I have to. I'm not going to let a bully bully me. You got too much strength. You got too much insight, too much wisdom. You're too fast on your feet. A narcissist can't trust somebody with too much strength because you're untrickable. They can't trap you the way they want to trap you. And if they do trap you, they can't seem to make it a permanent fixture. You, you seem to get away. You seem to find a way to get away. You seem to escape. You seem to know how to escape. You seem to know how to beat them at their own game. They're not as clever as they think they are. You are strong. Your strength, it reveals how dumb the dummy really is. It's only a narcissist that'll get mad at you and try to make it a problem that you have figured them out, that you notice their mask has slipped, all because they wanna play a game with life and they pulled you in it or they thought that you wouldn't notice the game and figure it out. You see that this person's personality is fake. Personality fake. They got this boring way to them they got this, you know, party pooper attitude. <laughs> they got this. They got this. They got this way of trying to flex a life that they haven't even earned. Flexing money that's not theirs. You know, influenced by the things of social media. Because their favorite rapper is 
looking a certain way, dressed a certain way, all of that to top it off with some bitter frosting of a poorly flawed character. Your personality is fake and it's probably dull, very dark and, and negative never positive always trying to pull people down talking about everybody comparing everybody to everybody nothing makes you happy they could have all the money in the world and still just act broke cheap dissatisfied unhappy competing with everybody and it still ain't, ain't, ain't satisfying them just completely empty and they get mad at you for being tired of being around it, putting up with it, seeing it, living with it, maybe even exposing it and being truthful about it. Mad at you because you figured them out. Wow. Narcissists pretend to be strong. But when they run into a real strong one, their whole life changed. They might be narcissistically injured for the rest of their life. So why are you too strong for a narcissist? is because you're not anyone's punching bag. Not emotionally, not verbally, not physically. You are the one that will stand up for yourself, will speak up for yourself, maybe even defend and fight for others. Justice and love lives in your heart so you don't tolerate anything that's opposite of that. They don't like your strength, they never will. They never have. They started hating you because of it. And they're going to probably hate you for the rest of your life because of it. Some of you need to own up to it. Learn how to become unbothered by it. And walk in your light. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, thank you for being here. Please, you're welcome to subscribe and like the video. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I go live or post a new video throughout the week. Until next time, beautiful people. Take care, stay true, and remain strong. Bye, guys.